take my mic though. There we go. Oh my god, you unmuted your mic. I did. Wow! Wait, now I gotta start hitting the stream button. I gotta hit the stream gotta hit the button. Gotta hit the slay button. Hit the slay button. God, my hands really do look like raccoon hands. Why did nobody ever tell me? What's wrong with your raccoon hands? I, I feel like, like it matches your... I feel like that matches your your energies. You're right. You're absolutely correct, and you should say it. I see, see, see. All right. I, I, it's Valentine's Day. It is Valentine's Day, yo. Yes. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh my gosh. I I actually don't even know where to start with this. What do we do? How do we? What do we do? Um, I don't know. Well, I, I should probably. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't have an idea. I was just gonna talk out of my ass for a second, but what's up? Oh, yeah, no, talk out of your ass. Let's hear it. Well, I was just gonna say, because you're like, oh, where do we start from here? And I was like, well, I mean, you know, an introduction of the games we're playing since we're not playing the same game. Oh, yeah, true, true. Okay, do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? Um, I would like my remote to work. Um. <laughs> All right, so I'll, I'll go first then. I'll go first then while you're setting that up. Thank you. Hi guys, it's it's Yume. Back out! <laughs> my controller dropped. Oh, rip. Fuck! Wait, fuck! My it 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 collapsed on my headphones, so I can't even hear what you're saying. But hi, I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, thank you. Uh, it fell, and now it's it's okay. It's okay now. So yeah, hi. I'm I'm Yume. I'm back at it again with Yu-Gi-Oh! A uh, Legacy of the Duelist. Woo, wahoo, let's go. Last time I was on the fucking battle with Sora and Shay, and now, right now, after playing the game for eight hours, I could safely say that I'm now on the battle with Yuto and Yugo, which is the one right after Sora and Shay. I've been stuck on both of these for several hours. Yeah. It's very bad. I just want to get to Dennis. That's all that matters to me. I want Dennis. Very valid. Honestly. I want. <laughs> like, I can't really ask for anything more except for Dennis Macfield this Valentine's Day. He is my Valentine after all. I love him. Oh, I thought I was your Valentine since you asked me to come do this stream, but I guess I was wrong. No, you are also my Valentine, <laughs> Tolpa. We're Valentine Day streaming. Hell We're squad yeah. streaming. Scott. Scott. Squad streaming? My god. Squad <laughs> streaming. Can you tell I've not Wait, slept much? Hey, it's talking hard, okay? Talking is so talking hard. Talking is pretty difficult. Like. Status. Oh, I have three of six locator cards. Okay, that's good. You okay? My you duelist pretty... level is 117. Oh, shit. Wait, 117? Okay, yeah, that's. That's my duelist you level. You gotta. You gotta amp that up, my boy. What? You tell you me that's not good? It. No, it's it's decent, but you definitely gotta amp it up. Oh. Okay. Like you wanna, like towards, towards the end, you wanna be at like I would say like three hundred is a safe number. Towards the like, like, like three three ten three fifteen, because of the cost of like, the really good cards. Yeah. I think the. Really good cards are like cost 289. And then you have the insanely good ones. I think the highest they have for the game would be 512. For and that's the duelist level that you need in order to be able to use the best cards in the game. But you don't have to have the best cards in the game. But like 289 is where you need to be for your duelist level to use like the general range of the best cards. I gotcha. But you're 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 like only have three out of six, so like you'll you'll build that up as you get over there. Maybe. So you don't have to worry too much. I'm gonna put on some uh, vaporwave because like I've realized like I ain't got I don't think I got any sound playing on my game. Hopefully. I um, have me personally got um uh some lo fi playing in the back. Dude, hell yeah, let's go. Wait, hang on, uh, I didn't uh, read what he said. What? About a place. Some good music. Music. Damn it. Okay, wait. Uh, there we go. I didn't realize I was supposed to be making a choice. I was just thinking I was going through dialogue I've already been through before. Oh. Want to duel? Oh. oh. I mean, yeah, I we could duel. 
Yeah, let's duel, oh, man. That's time to duel. The, the option to duel him. Is it because I said no because I was confused? I was confused. Well, just just be like, Rex hey, Raptor, I... did I beat you? Oh, dude, are you? You're fighting Rex Raptor too. I'm fighting Rex Raptor. He doesn't want to duel me. He thinks I'm a pushover. What a bitch. What a it, bitch. He's just scared because he's dueling me right now. <laughs> He can't duel both of us at once. Wait, you're doing- Oh, hey, Mokuba, you're doing the Duel Monsters route? Yeah, I'm doing the Duel Monsters one because I was grinding up so I could get more Maldoshe. Because this is this- Okay, so... I'm using this really, really cute deck. Like, I'm, I'll stream it oh, to you. Oh, the Maldoches? This... I know the Maldoches. I have a couple of those cards. Oh, nice. They're so cute. They, oh, I forgot I was still streaming orders. my screen to you. Oh, I'll shit, look at no yours, way. though. Yeah, okay. Like, okay, yeah, so like, the they're- Maldoches. They're so cute. I think this one's my favorite. I love the Chevalier. Mm -hmm. But they're- look how cute they are. Look at this- look at this messenger. Look at the get chocolates. They're so adorable. They're so insane. The names this are so cute. Croissant. Oh my god. I so I had an idea. So I'm essentially making just like my alt version of wait what message was in general? Did somebody message on general? Uh, Ooh, it was hell Nova. yeah. Yeah, she said if we were still streaming around eight thirty, uh my time I think. So that's about six thirty your time. Uh okay. does she'll join? Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm down for that. Let's go. But that's it, we're still streaming by then, we'll see. Hey, even if, like, we're not streaming by then, like, you know? Yeah. Actually, hold up. Um, I had this playing in the background. Give me a second. I'm putting the music very, very low. Why is very faint. Me? But, um, yeah, like. I forgot what I was gonna say, but these ones are really cute. Oh, I remember now. So I am making a, um, let me see. I like the Butler Rusk too. Cause I like the fact that it gives me the field spell. So like, um, I keep, like, I'm trying to make like a pseudo, uh, Shay and Dennis. Like, just cause you know, characters that are just so unabashedly them. Yeah. Cause like, I just, I need the fulfillment. I need to feel fulfilled. You know what I'm saying? I'm so sick and tired of, like, just not feeling like... Bro, I have a, I have an idea to write an entire... Like, to make an entire stream. It's just gonna be... Like, it's a just chatting uh, stream. Where I do nothing but rant about Arc 5 and what it could have done. Yeah. Like, better. And I have notes! I have notes and everything. And one of my notes was the fact that, like, Shay okay, doesn't get the closure... Huh? Oh, you beat Bakura? I you guess beat I baby? I did that, because he's not here at the museum. Beat baby? Well, I, I think if he's not there at the museum, that also might mean, like, oh, uh, you get to meet Ishizu. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so let me pull my butt for us. Let me activate the... Yes, give me Monto Chateau. Love this card. I love these cards. They're so freaking cute. I love the Malta Chase. Oh! Uh, so... I thought of like, I had the idea- Wait, wait, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Fuck! Wait! Shit, I pressed it too fast and I accidentally activated the effect! Fuck! Whoops. No! I hate wait, whenever you that happens, I do that so often. Dude, when I was playing- when I was playing, uh, the Zexel route, right? I wanted to use Yuma's deck. Because, like, you know me, I'm I'm that- I'm a Zexel bitch, you know? Yeah. Like, I, I- I fuck so hard with Zexel. Zexel's my favorite fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. Me for GX. But, like, like, I was playing Yuma's deck, and freaking- I was using Utopia, and the thing about Utopia is, like, um... I think I messed up. It's not letting me accept any duels. Let <laughs> me reboot what? my game. Oh my god- oh no! Oh, baby. Baby, I see baby. I see Bibby. He's Bibby. Hey, oh, so Bibby. And then, oh my god, like, I want... I want to play through the Brains one so badly, because, but I'm still watching it. Though I know what happens in the end, and it still fucking hurts to think about. 
Damn, you you didn't have to re make it from six to five in this one. What the hell? I was buying through, like I decided to pick the Maldoches, cause um uh, I just kind of rolled them in uh, Catherine's uh booster pack, and I was like, oh, that's so cute. Let me check them out. Why not? And they they're fun. Yeah. I think the I think my Shay knockoff for my for my Yu-Gi-Oh OC story is going to use like a Montoche deck or something similar to it. Because I think it's really cool if like there's like this really like dark and edgy dude who has like really cute monsters. Yeah. And then I'm going to do that for like my Dennis knockoff or like you know this really bubbly dude like this really sweet fun adorable like perfect dude. And he's got like a know? zombie deck. Yeah, or just like something that's like really dark and unexpected. We love like... that. <laughs> Guys, please give me more. Give me more of the Maldoches, please. Oh, oh, I already own Baffle. I think there's like a few that I'm missing, but I can't remember what they were. But I'm gonna keep rolling. Please, please, Catherine, please give me just one. Oh yes, new one. I don't have tea break. Oh, I, I should have gone to the cards shop. That's what I'm doing, I guess. Oh, are you gonna do the 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 basement duel? Probably. That seems like the only thing I can do right now. With the I like that page. one because like if you lose, your ankles get cut off. <gasps> really? Yeah. I'm not gonna lose, but wow, that's so fun to know. Yeah. That's well, really no, sarcastic. I mean like I'm it doesn't so actually. It doesn't- no, no, you're all good, man. It doesn't, like, it's just the parameters of the duel. Like, remember? Yeah. They, they, like, lock your feet down, and then the saw blade comes in and cuts your legs. Hell yeah. Where arf thou? That's cute. <laughs> Where arf thou? Where arf thou? Juliet, wherefore art thou when I need you? Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo! Another new one! Another new one? You oh. got a new Madoche? Yeah, Madoche Palooza! Special summon Ooh. any number of Madoche from your hand, but shuffle them into the deck during the end phase. Oh, shit, nice. that's cool. Oh, hell yeah. And I'm close to finishing her, uh, her, um, booster pack. Like, I, I'm close to getting, like, all the cards in there. But just, oh my god, I love these. And I added a few of them that I thought would be really nice for them. I love Command Knight. I love Field Commander Raz. Defender, I just needed someone that, like, had a lot of defense. Mm -hmm. And then it's, Breaker is kind of cool for the counter. But the majority of them are just uh, all Doshe cards. And Marauding Captain, too, where you could summon, like, another card if you summon him and everything. Um, oh, no. I need... I need more of these. That's what I need. Yeah. And I also have like oh, what type monsters. Is this? Shadow. Mm -hmm. If I had a light monster, it'd be better, but it doesn't look like I have one. I know. I'm not sure what, cause like I don't want to have more than I don't want to have more than fifty, but I want to have more. Oh, fuck it. Um. Oh, shit. Haha. Oh, my God. I have Baffle. I need a... Did I just do a stupid... I, I did. I'm missing... I chose to I'm sacrifice missing... my card, but it's not letting me summon the card I wanted... I was sacrificing it for, so, um... Well... Wait, did you already summon in that turn? Cause... Yeah. Is that why it didn't let me? It might be. I'm not. Sh That's I, I like have really bad memory on whether or not that is the case in sacred cards right now. So I need oh. her. And Thank you for we'll... subscribing uh, for six months. Um, Holy shit. How goes dude. the streaming? It goes. We just started. Dude, hey, yo, shout out to them for subbing to you for six months. Let's fucking go. Trap card yeah. did lead to low powered monsters that attack. It's CLF. Oh, if the monster is attacked, it's their lower, the trap wipes it out. Alright, well that's not terribly useful to me. Yeah, yeah, some of the trivia is required. Oh my god. Mrs. Lee. 
I remember these. They also have one for, uh, I forgot those. Oh I think God, for Hoshi. Effect? God, am I stupid? It's been a while since I played this. He might end up cutting off my ankle. No, don't get your ankle cut off. You're too my sexy. Uh huh. Wait, there was one of these that I was. that I didn't add. I added everyone. Single tribute is required. Okay, yeah, yeah I did. I did. Hi, Yume! Hi, our dog. Welcome to the stream! I hope you're having a great day today. Also, happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day! I'm, I'm spending Valentine's Day with my homie Tulpa and with the love of my life, Dennis Macfield. I, I hope you're having fun and you're spending it with someone you care about, whether it's with your friends and family or whether it's with a partner. Yeah. And even if you're all alone, like, just remember the power of love is very strong and it's always going to be there for you i don't know why i try to sound inspirational in that moment i was just trying to leave a good note for valentine's day because everyone's always so negative on valentine's day it's a wind attribute Ugh. evening um, building this are we yeah welcome yeah. crabby to the team uh i am building my own deck i decided on Maldoche for now um I am going to be playing through a couple of these other ones before I get to arc 5 because here's the thing I was stuck on the Shay and Sora duel for four hours at work And then when I finally beat it using the deck I made I'm now stuck on this one and I just needed to get to the Dennis one Pain. Ankles, you may. No, don't get your ankles chopped. It's Hold too up. late. It happened. Oh, also, Tulpa. I've been asked if I'm okay because I sound sickish. I'm fine. I just woke up, so uh, putting effort into my voice is a is a chore right now. So um, if I don't sound quite right, that's why. My God, it's Bakura. It's Bakura. It's Bakura. Let me look at your stream. Bakura. Oh my God. It, it changed. Yay. It went, it went too bad he like, said i'm done being baby now i want to be evil i i'm no longer baby i want power hey yo shout out to arizona for playing splatoon too oh yeah go. that's a good game i should play Hell it again yeah. oh dude you excited for splatoon 3 yes excitement i love splatoon and i'm so excited for splatoon 3 because like, i am probably oh. sorry oh, go, sorry, ahead. go ahead. ahead go ahead no um there's like the car character customization for it looks like a lot of fun because you get to choose there is no gender there is only squid code or octoling yeah and then you also get a little guy a little guy <laughs> hello well, blinded welcome to the stream and happy valentine's day oh shoot hello blinded welcome Hi, how's it going? Welcome, Twy. Welcome to the stream. It is going a okay. We Hi, are Twy. playing through. I made my own deck, but this isn't very good because now all I have are like these and Bapple. You know what? It doesn't really matter too much. I'll also put my card face down. Um, you know what? Yeah, put that down. Wait, wait. Okay, so I got clowned on this before. They say you're supposed to put it down in main face too, but I'm not even gonna go into the battle face. So I might as well just put these down here. There you go. I don't know. Here's all these cards. It's not a rush duel, so I can't just draw another five, which sucks. But we'll end the turn. There you go. Turn endo. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I just wiped out my monsters. What happened? I used, oh. um, I used black hole like an idiot. <laughs> oh no! It's fine. Oh, he has morphing jar! You bitch! <laughs> oh my god, Yami Bakura, you're gonna get your- Wait, oh wait, no, this is good, this is good. No, this is good! This is good, yeah, 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 activate- Wait, what can I activate? Wait, I only have two Maldoches. Well- Oh wait, no, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna activate this effect. I'm gonna take this. And- Oh my, my god. Ch Chocolates. He destroyed my bug. No, not your bug! My bug! Your bug! Oh, wait, you I may can stop being attack. so cute. Thank you! Also, welcome, Blinded! Welcome to the stream! I can't stop being cute. This is just my maximum power, okay? Listen, I am in. I dressed up very nice 
this Valentine's Day because I was like, okay, I'm going on a date with Mr. Dennis Macfield, the love of my life. Also, I'm hanging out with Tulpa too. I gotta look like, <laughs> I gotta be cute. I gotta look hot, you know? Like, you may, they don't you may really just... for no reason. <laughs> You may really oh, just said, I'm on a date with Dennis Macfield and Tulpa's here too, I guess. <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait, you bitch, he activated just dessert. No, I'm not changing part! I thought you were calling me a bitch and I was about to agree with you and then I realized you were talking to whoever, you were talking to Bakura. <laughs> I'm talking to Bakura because Bakura's a little bitch! I hope you know that, Bakura. You Wait, what?! Fuck, I was gonna link summon! Ah, oh, rip. Oh wait, no, that was on his. T oh my can god! Can you I link summon? I can. I can link summon. I can link, link summon. In um, the if dual I monsters? Yeah. Look, oh. see, I have a uh, fresh sister. I'm also able to exceed summon. You know me. I'm an exceed summoning bitch. That's um, wild hoping to I can me. get you to at some point. I know, right? I'm so bad at like doing the stuff. You may nice of you to stream for our Valentine's Day. Hey. Well, Hey, blinded! Hey, Whoa, you know, said I, that in my still, stream. We still, we remember, we remember what you said to all of us. You, you asked all of us. We remember <laughs> you, you caught right-handed. How dare you? <laughs> blinded also, is you pleading may... for me not to say anything, but it's too late. The damage has been done. <laughs> Welcome to your Persona yeah. Five Valentine's Day episode. I love Persona 5. Let's go. I, I want to be- if we're doing Persona 5, I want to be Haru. You want to be Haru? Haru? I want to be, um, Yusei. No, that's not his name. Yusei! Help! Fuck! God damn it, what be, is his name? You could be Yusuke? Yeah, Yusuke! I love Yusuke! Me oh too. my god, Yusuke and Haru. I love him. Right, so let's and he's voiced by Matt Mercer? Dude, yes, Matt Mercer goes fucking hard. He I does. love him. I really, I just love, I love Yusuke, and I'm sorry I butchered his name. My brain, this, this the, your, your brain, it's your not brain working Yusuke. quite right right now. Yusuke is very what? funny and hot. I approve. I didn't snitch, but it's too yeah, blind blinded. Wait, oh yes, yes. Yeah, it's too late. Me... It's already in motion. Give me the card. Yeah, wait, no. This is horrible. All of this is horrible. Please. What the fuck? Mm, no, please. We'll please. Don't these. make me. Please, don't make me discard what I think. Oh. All right. Homie's about to lose uh, his ankles. I'm about to lose my fucking ankles. This thing is driving me insane. Oh, yeah. It was like about 1,000 domino earned. It's like about. About. A pox. Can't even give you an actual. He just took your money. He's like, I think this is a thousand. I just robbed you. P5 um, Joker probs. This is blinded. Pi says you. Dennis is a field spell card because field is his last name and he has you under his spell. Yeah. That's good. I just had to tell you that. Also, you, yep. Also, you know what, blinded? You see these box of chocolates that I've got right here. I yeah. brought them, I brought them to be special today, but if you're gonna be in everybody else's, everybody else's chat, I guess we can't mm. have them today. They're gone now. Honestly. <laughs> I'll bring them back, it's okay. Also, shout out to Eonic for playing Fortnite, let's go, you said wait, wait. why did I bring this? Wait. You said wait blinded? You said wait blinded? Are you gonna rede are you gonna redeem yourself? Are you gonna get them back, or are they gonna stay away forever? Lock and key that bitch. <laughs> Do we get Valentine's Day chocolates or no? Choice is yours, chat. <laughs> We're gonna make it up for you, Tulpa. All right, a tentative maybe on the chocolates. They'll be lower than normal, and they'll be over here. My Bapple came back to me. Your here, Bapple baby. came back. Bapple came What's back. What's Bapple look like? What's Bapple? All right, here. Let me show you in a moment. Wait, I need a BS. I gotta change it to face down defense. Um, goodbye, message gelato. Oh, cute, message gelato. So, here is what Bapple looks like over here. Oh, I have Bapple. Bapple. You have Bapple. Yeah, I have to dig through my cards to find it though. It's somewhere. Ooh. Also, we just got Revive Serpent Night Dragon for cutting off a dude's ankles. Hell yeah. He says Fuck the blade. That, it's coming closer. 
It's the consequences I don't know, of my homie. own ankle. You were gonna cut off my ankles. Oh wait, I saved him. <laughs> it depends on the chocolates goes to someone else if we wait, don't I know. Realize, Opa, What's up, homie? Your thing is not showing up on here at all because I forgot to put your I forgot <laughs> to change your thing back, so you're not on here. How did oh. I forget? Wait, wait, I think I might be able to. I have the idea. So if I take this, select all uh copy and then move it back here. Wait, oh. hold up. <laughs> Thank you for right, the resub, right. Twy? Or not Twy, I fucking blinded. Jesus Christ, I'm so sorry. I, hey, uh, I was in the middle of reading hey. your uh, resub message uh, while congratulating and thanking you there for being is. subscribed for two months. Uh, but blinded is. says Twy back off. <laughs> Damn. Hi, Shiri Yuki, welcome in and happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Wait. Uh, currently the Valentine's Day chocolates are being held hostage because Blinded is being a persona protagonist on Valentine's Day. <laughs> he's being a- he's pulling a Joker Persona 5 right now. Wait, what can I activate? What is this one? Wait, yeah, let me- wait. Homie's ankles didn't even get cut off. Merrick just murked him. Does it double the amount that I gained from that? <gasps> Oh, it doesn't. Damn, that sucks. Well, <laughs> time to mosey. <laughs> What's my duelist level at now? 127. Will Rex Raptor duel me now? Will he? <laughs> Fun fact, this guy has the same Japanese VA, VA as Dio from JoJo. Oh, you mean um the masked dude that I just beat? That that tracks honestly. I wouldn't expect any other voice. Yeah, what is it? I don't do with. Hey Rex, I'm gonna beat your face in. Duel me. Yeah, yeah. Arcana. Listen, if he just he just gets to duel me, if it's not with cards, it's gonna be with our fists. Be his fucking ass, Tulpa. Be his fucking ass. I'm gonna wail on him. Oh, thank you, blinded for the hydrate. I'm about to go. Oh, wait, I don't I, have any. I don't have a drink either. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna go grab some grab He's some from the kitchen. What do you want, Opa? Same from for Satorius from GX. I love Satorius from GX. Damn. Um, what do I want? Uh, yeah. I might go grab uh some cranberry pomegranate juice. I think that's the most romantic drink I have right now. I don't want to go get water. Drink. That's all the way across the house. I'll grab a margarita. Ooh, ooh, wait! I have wine. You have wine. Wait, but that's not. I have a specific redeem for getting me to drink alcohol. So uh -huh. for the time being, let me go get one of my cups and some uh some juice and I'll be right back. Hey. I gotta get a drink myself. See everyone in a bit. Alright, got you, Krabby. Yeah, go get yourself a drink. Everybody go grab yourself a drink. Um, I'm going to have I'm gonna wait for Tulpa to come back and then I'm gonna switch over. That way there will be somebody entertaining on both sides. So um in the meantime, I'll be here to entertain. Don't worry, I'm gonna grab the drink in a little bit. Oh hell yeah, like I could I could I could do my link shokan, but like no, I don't wanna do my link shokan right now. What I'll do is I'll attack with Anjali. You may you're always entertaining. Thank you, thank you. I do my best. No! <laughs> Wait. Uh-huh. Bitch. Bitch! Oh, oh Chevalier! Chevalier, but I can't summon him this turn. Oh, dude. Yo, thank you. Okay, my sister. Actually, she saved the stream. She brought me a Capri Sun. So, bro, uh, shout out, shout out to my little sister. She brought me a Capri Sun. So I don't even have to get up right now. So you guys will get the, you guys will get the margarita after I finish the Capri Sun. After it. I just like having an excuse to drink, especially since I'm just chilling with my homie over here. And then we're probably gonna have another homie join us in a bit. Also, like, oh, please, you know what? I could. Hmm, do I want? Yeah, actually, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. So summon Marauding Captain, we'll put him over here. Because he's a cool dude. There you go, Captain. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna activate his effect. And then we'll have Chevalier come in, put him over here. We don't even need to do this. But I want to do this. There you go, Chevalier right there. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna perform a Link Summon. There we go. And then we're going to take Bapple. Bapple's defense is 3100. What a mad lad. Hell yeah, And Bapple. guys, look! 
Yeah, he also, was at 31 GG's on that. Best. GG's on that Cappy Sun, dude. I know, right? I'm, I'm very happy for the Capri Sun, my sister. Why does this taste she... like apple juice? That makes me sad. Oh dang! That, but, oh, okay, no, it's just it's just ancient jar, man. I was I was about to cry. All um, right. But Shiryuki no, we... also redeems. Take a sip. So I guess I'm drinking a little bit of wine now. <laughs> Paul Capri Sun. What flavor? This is a fruit punch flavor. My sister got it just because it had like the Nintendo uh, Switch advertising. Oh nice. Like you get a you uh win a chance to get a free Switch. You know, like Animal's Road Trip or whatever. Oh, I can use that. Interesting. There we go. All right, hi, baby. Oh, baby, I'm looking he's feeling somebody. okay now. By the way. MVP, um, keep hydrated. Hell yeah, so grateful for my sisters. Oh wait, you remember the freaking? You remember watching the Dark Side of Dimensions movie? I do. What a good movie. Bro, that movie made me like. Yugi. Actually, I cried a little bit. The movie. Huh? Yugi. 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 What? Do you say something about crying? Yeah, I cried a little bit during the movie. Oh, remember me watching. full on dry sobbing at the end of it because of Kaiba? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> it was great though. Dude, it was the... so good. Alright, I'm gonna try. Should I roll some more for it? I remember when, when Bukuro started crying, I started crying. Like, I just, I just felt him. Uh, actually, no, I don't want to roll right now. All right, let's let's go do let's do another. I know I've got to beat Mako. I don't think I've done that yet, but I don't know how to get to him. Mako? Oh, I don't think he's in the aquarium. Either. The aquarium? Where's that? Um, you should be able to un if you. I think you unlock it right after you unlock the bridge scene with Kaiba. I haven't gotten a bridge scene with Kaiba. Oh. Um, do you have the bridge area unlocked? I don't think so. Okay, um, I'm trying to backtrack, because if you, uh, go back to, go back to, uh, Yugi's grandpa's card shop. Um, okay. at some point, I don't know if you already met, uh, Merrick yet. Not quite, my cousin just got home as well. Oh, wow, your cousin got home, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, the dog got a Valentine's themed bark box as well. Ooh, wait, a dark box? Bark box. It it's like dog treats and dog toys. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Uh, last the last one we got was a sleepover theme, and she got a little ko koala in pajamas, as well as a little squeaky slipper. It was very cute. That does sound very cute. Gotta get my dog in one of them. Hell yeah. I recommend it. Our dog loves them. She's so- she's all about it. Oh my god. Oh, there's a cookie in there? I saw the piece of cake. It's a cookie that I suppose I could use this to go ahead and Xyz summon, but I kind of don't want to do that. Yes. So I'm just going to end the turn for now. He could, he could destroy Goblinburg, it's fine, because the whole point is that I want to make sure that I have Message I gelato up here. Level, because I've already dueled everybody here except for Exoraptor. The motherfucker um, won't duel me. He won't. Why not? He doesn't think I'm cool. I'm kick his fucking what? ass. What are you? I kick his ass. What a bitch. Areas off limits. Fuck you too. Yes, and then now we could get the, we get the chateau. 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 Oh, I used sweet. to. I only knew about the word chateau because of Pokemon, to be honest. But yeah. then I always heard the word gato. <laughs> there we go. Now we got the cutesy little layout. I'll buy that back since I lost it. Alright, and then do I wanna. Do I wanna use Graceful? I mean, it doesn't hurt to use it. You know what? I'll use it. Why not? Why not? Let's see. And I got a scar too. I have one of you. Okay. Uh, um, I guess message gelato will get the boost up from it. Um, summon. Uh, I guess because I like banner of courage. I guess we'll make a command knight because banner of courage applies to everybody. What the effect of a card? Yes. Oh, that's right. Modoshi lesson. Let's go. Marmo maiden, and then we'll shuffle that back in. 
Return cards from the also graveyard. Also, happy Valentine's Day. Did I tell you that? Oh. Yeah, thank you. Goblinburg. Fly, so Goblinburg. Celeste is in here screaming. She says, happy oh Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day, Celeste. I don't want to win something. We'll just we'll just do the battles. Is Rex Raptor not gonna duel me because I'm not because I'm level 127? I'll kick his ass. Dude, just just beat him personally. Just like grab his neck and just start like pummeling him. Exactly. What, what is he gonna do? What's what he, he gonna, gonna do? do? Stop me? Exactly. He's gonna go rar XD at you. <laughs> rar XD. Arr, I'm a dinosaur. I'm gonna get you. Well, unfortunately, he doesn't have that dino DNA, so. Which, oh, we true. haven't gotten you to just yet in GX. Yeah, uh, Elio and I are on episode 7 or 8 right now of GX. Ooh, nice. so watching... yeah, yeah, dude, it was great. We were... It was so fun just being able to hang out last night. Yeah, I'm sorry I was gone for longer than I intended. No, you're all good. I mean, it just be like that sometimes. Yeah, finishing up the Shadowbringer MSQ took me a lot longer than I'd expected. Did you at least get it done, though? Yeah. I finished okay. Shadowbringers MSQ, and now I'm in post-story. Mm -hmm. I'm struggling. I think I'm That's stuck. What's the next world after that one? Uh, after Shadowbringers is Endwalker. Oh, shoot. So you're almost at the end, then. Holy yep, yep. shoot. Don't want my message gelato or my butler rusk. I'll, I'll have message gelato attack. God, I Ooh, love I'm these about designs. to give up and just switch over to Amnesia because I am stuck. <laughs> you should be able to. Uh, I'm trying to think right now what you have to do. What areas do you have unlocked right now? Because uh, I should be. I'll, I've got I'll, the you... Clock Plaza, the Game Store, and um, the Art Museum. So you only have those three. Did yeah. you go into Did you go into Kaiba's area yet and like talk to Mokuba? I did, and it won't let me duel the duel bot. Oh, and it'll okay, ask me okay. if I want to duel it, but then there's no, like, affirmative or anything. Okay. Oh, uh, then... Oh, um... you When you're dueling, you make sure to press the, the R button for you, right? Because it's... Oh my god, you're right! I'm so stupid! Yeah, it's the R button Thanks, Yume, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Come here! No, okay. Oh yeah, you look like a decent duelist. We'll duel with our with locator cards on the line. God damn it, I'm so dumb. Really? Thanks. Wait, I thought you knew some French, though. I know a very little amount of French. I knew enough to pass French uh, 1, 2, and 3, 4. Mm. So, yeah, 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 just a little bit of French. I know a little French. Just a bit. Just, just a little bit. bit. Yeah, I, I wish I knew more French, too, though. Aw, oh, dang it. I'm fighting Bones now. Oh, nice. You're fighting Rex, right? Yeah, I just... Oh, this bitch. I just saw Bones in the graveyard a couple of times because I kept running back and forth because I was mm -hmm. lost. Aqua beats Earth, yeah, regardless of... Nope. Damn. Okay, Yume, I'm gonna lurk to study for an exam tomorrow. Of course, of course. Thank you so much for even lurking. Thank you, thank you. Hell yeah. Go, mate. I hope you pass your exam because honestly, exams suck. I took one <laughs> yesterday and it, I hated it. I, yeah. I don't even know what to for, but I hate it. Exams are the worst, and if you have to do them, I'm sorry, and I wish you the best of luck. Mm. This is why I dropped out of college. Well, part of it. Tolba, can I take the chocolates when I lurk since I have to study? Um, you can have one as a treat. As a treat. As a treat. And then we're gonna go ahead. I mean, I guess I could. No, it's not worth thinking. This well, you gotta out. share with everybody else, blinded. I'm sorry. These are communal chocolates. They're communal. <laughs> It's it's like the the blood of Christ is communal. Pog, let's go chat. Uh, Ty says I also struggled with that when I played this since I hadn't played the game for a while. So I know you're not dumb. At least I hope. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> communal. I thought you were my yeah. Valentine's. Hey man, you asked, but this is the Valentine's Day stream for everybody. Mm hmm. I mean, like. In a sense, Tulp like, Tulpa is my streaming valentine. Tulpa, I will download Final Fantasy XIV for you. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. I love Final Fantasy XIV. It's so much fun. Everybody should play critically acclaimed Final Fantasy XIV if they're able. Please do not play Final Fantasy XIV if you are able. Like, <laughs> the servers cannot get it. 
I don't want to activate a card Also, right now. um, you will lose all your time. Wait, why did Automod catch that message? Because you said, um, you're not dumb. It was like, hey, no, this man's, he's the dumbest bitch alive. <laughs> you're incorrect. Oh, it, no, it, I don't... it, it, uh, it caught you because you told me I wasn't dumb. So, but did you see my Bloodborne fan art? I did! It was really good! I meant to message, but I forgot because I did not get much sleep last night and, like, promptly passed out this morning, so. Oh, wait, no, because I put this one down. I'm putting, I'm putting baby in defense mode. Baby goes in defense mode. I didn't realize he was gonna have the zombie mammoth thing. <gasps> My plant! Yeah, I miss quite a few things about school, but exams aren't one of them. Yeah, Same. exams are just... Exams suck! I don't know if you miss exams at school, I don't I don't know why. Like, why? I, I gotta know the reason. Because I hated exams. I, I never tests. enjoyed taking tests. Mm-hmm. I was good at taking tests, but I hated taking them. We're gonna get rid of the- we're gonna sacrifice the bug. Stop asking me to activate a card! Activate the card. What's the card is trying to get you to activate? It's trying to get me to activate Maldosh Palooza, mm. but I don't want to activate Maldosh Palooza. Yeah, it's really not the time for it yet. Yeah, it's not! Could you, like, stop prompting me, game? Stop prompting me! It says, no, you're gonna play this card, and you're gonna all like it. See, look, like, what? Oh, wait, wait, oh. Oh, the brilliance that I just thought of. Big brain? Yeah, big brain. Hey, yo, shout out to Aaron for playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. Yet another person who has it when I don't have it. Homie, homie, do you want me to buy it for you with my next paycheck? I'll buy it for no, you. No, Happy Valentine's no. Day. Shut up. You will not. I might. I will break your spine. Don't do that. It's already broken. I'll break it again. It's so I'll crunchy. Snap you too. You're gonna snap me like a twig. You know, if it's crunchy, I'll make it smooth. I'll like make it into <laughs> a That's what that is. Don't don't talk to us. You got no money. You're right, not yet. Um you, you no bitch. Stop it. I'll get my paycheck in next week. I don't want a seven dollars. I don't want to use it. Hey, you know what, Tulpa? Even if you get it next week, is save your money. Why? I just, just let me use the fucking card, please. No. Let me stop it. It says you can't use the card because you won't let Tulpa buy you Legend Arceus. Yeah, you're not. Ha! Oh, fuck you, Bones. Locator yeah. card. Hell yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, All so right, now you I have. Guess I'll buy them. Oop, let me go close the office door. It sounds like my cousin's gonna turn on anime. Well, okay, got you. I Same. Don't get copyright for anime. I'll break your spine is such a raw reaction, Lamal. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I do my best. I listen, do my best. Listen, Yume's name in one of the discords we're in is uh, gonna beat the fuck out of Tulpa because I keep spending money on my friends. Oh, yeah, no, he spent $80 on Elio and he spent $40 on me and yep, yep. like. We don't know why he did that. Because like, you're why my would friends. It... You need to stop. No. Yes. I are. I miss y'all's birthdays. Of course I'm gonna. Of course. Like of course I'm gonna spoil you guys. I missed your birthdays. You see, he he says this, right? He says this, and then and then oh, wait, watch. I could have birthdays. Him. His birthday is coming around soon, and he's gonna be like, no, don't buy me anything. Don't I am a little baby. Anything. See, shut. Sh 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 Topa. Tulpa. You're- I already know what I'm getting him. I'm getting him some stuff. And I think he has an idea of what I plan on getting him. I know one of the things because you left it open in the tab whenever we were hanging out I the other day. I didn't night. mean to leave it open. I just wanted to have you guys watch Yu-Gi-Oh! GX with me. I didn't mean to have it open. Well, okay, so, uh, to explain, y'all, um, we were hanging out and, um, I wanted to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! GX with them because we're trying to- we're making it our thing to just like watch episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX together because I've never watched it before but both Elio and Tulpa have watched it's it. It's our favorite. So, yeah. I have three monitors so I end up- uh, I like to be the one to stream it too. Um, so- What the fuck is this? Some. Stop. Uh, it's- No! What happened? Oh my god, he took out your monsters. 
No, 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 no. You said you're battling bones? I'm battling bones. That bitch. That bitch. What a bit. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so shuffle this card when it is done and you get an add one dollar. Okay, okay. If it's if it's normal summon, okay. Da, 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 I'll add you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. I think I have an idea. Uh, yes. Um. And then um. Uh, let me figure this out real quick. Hold up. Was it which one did I want? Oh yeah, beep 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 Wait, uh, it has to be normal summon. Shit, that's not gonna work out. Okay, and I can't summon him right now. Uh, 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 oh, and one face up and it's a bone and one face up. Oh yeah, 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 Oh my god, wait, 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 I'm thinking, guys, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm so- No, I don't want to use that. You're using your galaxy brain over there? I'm using- uh, Dude, my- my freaking galaxy eyes brain here, I'm using Oops, it. So we'll take that, time. and then that card, because I'm so smart! Hell I'm yeah. so smart! Big brain, many wrinkle! Wait, hold up, can I not act? I can't activate Maldor's lesson. No. Uh, there is- I cannot destroy it this turn, unfortunately, so Rip. I'm just gonna have to- <laughs> Yeah, unless I decide to special summon Butler Russ, but the thing is, I want to keep him for the field spell effect. Or, like, I guess if anything, what I could do here is I could special summon, and then you get fresh sis start, right? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, y'all, I'm thinking. I hope this works, I hope it doesn't, like, switch off when it leaves the field. There we go, sis start. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh wait, I, I Well, wait, oh, I guess wait. I'm dueling bones now too. Hell yeah, we're fighting bones together. I'll be hold in up, first, I up. bet. Um Bapple or Magaline? Uh Magaline. Magaline. I don't wanna activate anything else, leave me alone. Come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, and then what card? What card? Um Um I guess I I guess this guy. We'll, we'll bring him back. Come on, come on, let me go. Let me go! Let me play, let me play, let me play, let me play. I know what I have to do. I know what I have to do. Let me play, let me play. Oh. I don't want to activate it! Leave me alone! Okay. Oh, okay, we, we, we finally, I could look at chat. I'm gonna look at <laughs> chat now, y'all. I don't want to activate this card, please. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. And it, what are y'all saying here? I was about to make the galaxy ice joke. Hell yeah, same brain cell. Let's go. I'm thinking. Hi, thinking. I'm Twy. Hi, Twy. I'm thinking. I'm. I'm so. I'm so smart. I'm so galaxy eye brain. Oh shit. Anyway, what were we talking about? I forgot. How much you don't want to use that card? Oh yeah, that's right. I really don't want to use that card. Uh. Wait. Oh, hell no. I'm not discarding him. No. No, please. Wait. Wait, please. Please. Please, don't do this. Please! Oh my god, am I gonna get my ass- Am I gonna get my world rocked by, uh, bones? You know who's almost done dueling bones? Me. Nice. Dude, I think I'm gonna get my- My- My knees kicked in. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use I my high level. My high attack monster. I win. Oh my god. Um, spells, traps, you control cannot be destroyed by card, and their player can target some of the cards. Cards and skill will be destroyed. You can I know. Oh, yeah, wait. Bones um, is like, for the upteen time, I have, I have fallen. You truly are strong. It's like, yeah, I'm well aware. Thank you, Bones. Okay, so. And then I can return Bapple. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. Uh, so I gotta call like locator cards. But I don't think this duel will take nearly as long. If it would just, I can't do that. Stop that. Stop asking me. Stop asking me. <gasps> the park. Okay. You um, there? No. Big ass no, five head. Stop. And right. then if I do this, this is why I wanted this card here. Right? And then if I activate the effect here, um, Mado Chateau, very useful card, 
will give me enough to completely rock bones as shit. Hell yeah. Yep. Okay, now y'all. Now it shouldn't prompt his cards out. What is win the week two? Do you remember? Um, I think it's. I'm trying to think right now. Electric? No, not electric. Cause there's what? There's fire, water, wind, earth. Um, forest fiend. Forest fiend. So, uh, fiend. Okay, so I know all. Of, I just can't think of like the regular elementals for some reason. Yeah. Um, I think it's forest. I think it's forest. I will try it. I. Hell yeah! Let's go. Big brain, mini oh, wrinkle. Oh thank God! I was like, I had to think for a moment. I was like, I'm. No. I'm pretty sure it's forest. He used a pyro. That's no, fine. Not I got a water penguin. Fuck you! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! It sucks because one of the one of the types that they have in the game is a dream type. Yeah. But like dream type doesn't exist in actual Yu-Gi-Oh. But I wish it did. That's true. Because you know me, I'm I'm the dream god. Yeah. I want to be. Shut up! I need you to shut oh, up okay. right now, okay? <laughs> game. Not you. Not <laughs> not you, Tulpa. The game is giving me the prompt again because I rolled a Madosh. I rolled the Chicolette. The Chicolette. Chicolette. Oh shit, it was a light attribute monster. Damn it. Chicolette. Isn't there a song about chocolate? That's like, um. Chocolate. Uh, I wanna. I'm trying to think. What? What is it? I feel like there is a song somewhere that exists that's like that, but I can't think of it right now. Damn. Uh. I think there might be a K-pop song to that effect. Um, I know that there's a, I know that Baby Metal has a song called Chocolate. I think it's a song that I heard in my youth, though. Then I have no idea, my guy. Damn it! I thought, but yeah, yeah. Use the effect. Use the effect. Use the effect. Use the effect. Yes, yes, yeah, dude. I love Supply Squad, mm -hmm. but I don't love Mono Blue because it keeps asking me. Oh my god, stop asking me. No, I was gonna use that for a stop. sacrifice, you bitch. Stop asking me. Stop <gasps> receiving. Oh my, you know what? You really wanna ask? Okay, fine. We'll activate- Okay, this is the last time I'm gonna put this card up like this. There we go, we'll have our baby chicky wickies. And we'll have- like that? What does what smell like that? Are you... I'm is not having a stroke. Um, my cousin is making pizzas. That smells like plastic. That's... Oh no, that that doesn't sound good at all. Probably not. I'm sure nothing's uh, wrong. Our stove is just old and weird. Okay, I see, I see. Like, we have a gas range. And most of the appliances in our house that came with it feel like they haven't been replaced in a good long while. Like, we had to replace our dishwasher because it was broken. Um, oh, and whenever man. we moved in, there was a washer and dryer hookup. There still is. Um, however, there's extras in the, um, in the mud room. However, I Ooh. use the term extras lightly. Um, I'm pretty sure that they, um, don't work, but they're just in there. Wait, I'm so confused. I don't know how to explain it. I also just realized I can like hear your stream and hopefully Yeah, you can hear mine. Yeah. Uh Okay. It looks like Discord's picking it up a little bit, but I'm not too bugged about it. Weird. I wonder why that is. Because um uh I have here, I will go ahead and mute that so that way it's not picking up your game audio. Oh you're drawing cards from Bakura's? Do you know you draw yeah. if you draw them from grandpa's uh you can get Exodia? Oh shit. Yeah. I know that <laughs> I heard that in Bakura's you could get pot of greed, so I'm trying to roll for pot of greed right now. Oh fair and valid. Um I like to roll in grandpa's because I want Exodia and I've already got a couple of pieces. I'm gonna go get some Exodia's. Let's go. Come on, Exodia. Oh graceful. Oh graceful! 
Oh, another graceful. Let's go. Let's go, Grandpa. Welcome to the stream, Wipeout. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope you're having a good one. Oh, he has a Link monster? It is fucking... Dude, he has a Link monster in his... Look at this shit. Grandpa, what are you doing with Link no. monsters? You're old. You shouldn't know about... Oh, Unity. Cool. This guy, this guy refused my challenge because I refused to give up my friend. Hell yeah. He was like, uh, sure, I'll do oh, you on one condition. I'm looking for information on a duelist named Yugi. You wouldn't happen to know him, would you? And I'm like, nope. I you love know, like, her. You love her? Who is she? I love her. We witches oh, apprentice. Oh, cute. Apprentice. Do you She's in she's in sacred cards. Oh, is she's she? She's one of the cards in, Yeah, she's yeah. she's in the beginner deck, like your your deck in there. Oh. Like she'll be in there from the start. She's called she's just called Witch's Apprentice, but this one's called We Witch's Apprentice. That's her. Nice. Oh my god, I'm so happy to see her. I love her. You may All stay right. winning. Hell yeah, I'm actually happy right now. I got graceful, I got we witches, like baby. Can I can I get another can I get an Exodia? Hey, unhappy maiden. Or like a I'm gonna summon this dolphin though. I got the head. You got the head, nice. I got head. <laughs> so no head. <laughs> so no head. Well, oh, oh, dark elf. I love dark elf too, but yeah, the cost is. Ugh. Okay, so cool. looks like we're doing. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. I want to add that other graceful, but then I realized my my deck is pretty. She's gonna be full. back and forth like this, huh? <laughs> you know what? We'll we'll grab another graceful. Why not? Wait. I just named this one Ha Ha because I couldn't think of a name for it. And then let me go ahead and let's. Oh shoot! Let me look for a uh, graceful real quick. Graceful. Wait, no, this is E E. I was an E F. Graceful. Oh, wait, no, I was supposed to go down, not up. Graceful. Graceful giant rat. <laughs> there it is. I'm the giant rat that makes that all of the rules. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I love the Fire Emblem DLC. You played it too? What? That was, that was a joke. Yuri is a sewer rat. Oh, yeah. I forget. <laughs> My monster! <laughs> You're a Bitch. monster. What happened to your monster? This guy wrecked. Earth. What's no. Earth week to? Oh, I'm so traumatized by the Exodia player I told you about a while ago. Oh my God, rest in peace, man. Dude, I don't, I don't want to face any Exodia players playing online. That sounds scary. They're one turn kills. Mm. Actually, my, I've watched one of my favorite ah. people, my favorite uh, uh, YouTubers, Major Duncan. Uh, he did a whole, he did a speed run of this game. He did a speed run of the original campaign using an Exodia deck. So he did like one turn KOs and stuff like that. It's great. Uh, Shiryuki says that they're headed to bed now because it's 1am for them. And oh my god. We hope guys. you have a good night. Thank you for joining us yeah. for our Valentine's Day streams. Oh yeah. Have a good rest, man. Yeah, man. We'll catch you next time. Oh. Night. Damn it. I'm <laughs> so dumb. Oh yeah, she's cute. Oh, about Dark Elf, right? Dark Elf is nice, but I definitely prefer Mystical Elf. Hey, interesting, interesting. It's interesting knowing what you guys think. I'm more of a Dark Elf fan than I am of a uh, Mystical Elf. But I guess it's more because, like, I just... Um, I have a lot of good memories with her versus um, Mystical Elf and Sacred Cards. So I tend Why? to think of... Only... Not you, sorry. Oh, okay. I, was like, I had the higher attack, but because it was a water element, it took out my monster. Which I think yeah. is absolute bullshit. I mean, like, hate it goes game. both ways. I hate this game. Okay, so I'm going to do this duel again, and let's pray that I win this time. You got you go this, Holmes. Oh, God, I'm scared. Like, look at them. I would read, but, like, goodbye, y'all. I just, I just need to play through this. I need to do oh, this. Oh, shit. I didn't save for a good long while. Did you? What happened? I lost. Oh no! You know what? I'm gonna switch games. <laughs> I'm gonna switch games. I'm 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 tired of being bad on stream. I'm switching games. I'm guessing you're playing Sacred Cards. Well, Topa was playing Sacred Cards. Topa was. It sounds like he's switching over. Also, let me link you guys the multi twitch in case. Oh, that's not the multi twitch at all. Topa has no patience today. 
Yeah, Tulpa has zero chill, honestly. So I don't even know what's going on in uh, in Legacy of the Duelist. I turned away because I want to paste this. Here you go. If you guys want to check out our multi Twitch, it's right there. Um, Tulpa was playing sacred cards. Uh, I'm guessing you're gonna switch over to Amnesia now. Yep. I'm setting up uh my Valentine stuff though because I forgot to put those in. Got you, got you. Whoops. There we go. Don't mind my big old, big old mitts. I actually, I don't understand Phantom Knights. Phantom Knights freaking scares the hell out of me. Phantom Knights? Yeah, it's the it's the archetype that uh, Yugo plays. Mm. Um, but yeah, he, he scares me in all honesty. So we're going to put uh, Chevalier. Because here, here is my idea. Here's what I plan on doing. So it's at the top of the deck. Awesome. Um, when Amadosh is... Uh, at... There we go. Um, I believe, okay. are you Earth? No, you're Dark. Okay, cool. And then you're both Earth. So I could use Gaia Power here. And I'm going to do the double summon here. I typed Wait. in my password wrong. Oh no, not the password wrong. Anyway, uh, die, Yuto. I can't, I can't do this, Yuto. I'm sorry. I'm, s I'm really bad for Yuto in the anime, if I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. He could have been the spirit partner, but no, the show is like, let's just not have Yuto come out for, like, until, like, the very, very end of the show. Oh, yeah! I'm gonna, I wanna, at some point, Topa, I wanna talk to you about my, I wrote a, I have a whole note page, and it's just called Arc 5 Rant Notes. Because I plan on making, like, I plan on streaming that. I think I've told you that already, though. But, like... Probably? This list is long, bro, and I still am not done with it. Wait, what happened? I, I looked over at my phone for just a second just to look at it, but oh no. Maybe this is a window capture, I guess? Yeah. No, yeah. you What's tell it? Oh, please. You just stop! Uh, we'll do new game. Who should I, who should I go for, Yume? Um, in Amnesia? Yeah. So okay, so my my personal favorite is a uh, Kent. Oh okay, I, I'll do Kent's route then. Dude, I love Kent. He's pretty neat. I love. He he kind of reminds me of Declan to be honest, but like he's so know. adorable. I'm trying to remember if I did his route already because apparently this still has my save data from the first time I I played it. Oh, I mm -hmm. should let me turn on the sound for the uh, game, I guess, because I do actually really enjoy it and I don't want to do voice. So you guys get to listen to it instead. Okay, this is- Let me turn Oh, I think I, have... I think I know what I'm gonna do. Oh wait, not this one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double summon. Um, I know- I know Pendulum Summoning exists, but I'm doing double summon. I still have- I have this card because like- I can. I could have this card. So there we go, Chevalier. And the reason why we're gonna do this is because we're gonna- Oh, you're strong. Wait, wait, wait. Um, once per turn, you can detach all material, target one card. You control one card. Okay, so. Uh, you could, if the succeed summon card is destroyed, you can target two fan knights to move graveyard for summon. So. You fucker. I do. I do so hate you, Yuto. Like, also, not, not as a character, but just dealing with this one yeah. now. Also, homie, you know what I forgot? What? What do you I forget? I forgot how much I love Orion. That's baby Orion. right there. Yeah, he, oh my god, Orion is so baby. That's baby actually, right there, actually. My my design for Ethereal, like, the character for Ethereal is oh, kind of based on- yeah, I see that it's now. Like, That's fair. Yeah, I, I love Orion so much. I love spirit partners in general. I love this kid, he's great. He's a great kid. That's he's baby right there. Kiddo. Am I gonna knock this out? Please tell me I'll knock this out. Hang on, you know what? You know what? Uh, wait, what does this thing do? Uh, uh this card's your grave, all the monsters your grave. You're supposed to summon this card, you must- Uh, you know what? There Fuck we it. go. Orion gets head pats, cause he fucking deserves it. He deserves head pats! We love Orion We love place. Orion in this house. Yes! Okay, there we go. Share this post if you love Orion. If you hate Orion, fuck you. Get out. Yeah, fuck you, hate Orion. 
Yeah, Phantom Knights are weird. Makes you wonder why they're not zombies. Like, honestly, like, they be doing some shit and it's like, hello? Like, I, I try to understand them, but I don't really- wait, did they- did it just negate the effect of- I hate you. I hate you, Yuto. Why do you do this to me? Oops. That's bigger than I need it. I first battled Yuto with this Phantom Knights in Duel Links, and I try to understand what they did, but, like, something about, like, in my head, my brain just couldn't click with it if it made any sense. If it does, there's no monster. There are two monsters, so this would not work. Um, after this card battle, you could destroy one card. There we go. So, I uh, forgot to put the credits back on my screen. You must tribute. Yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll tribute. Actually, uh... But then that means I have to face it face down. Let me let me do this. Let me bring out Pudding Sus. Even though I don't think she'll be very helpful in the span of things. There we go. Okay, well at least I know what that one was. Sure. Sure, Yuto. Okay, please. Please, get that. Let's go. Die. Murder. Yes! Okay, it worked. Okay, 300. <laughs> it's not over to the last life point. But still... Oh my god, please, I want to beat him, please, let me get to my man, my By husband. Way, still... Oh yeah, I forgot to change it. What? What's up? I forgot to change my category over. Oh, is he gonna synchro, or not synchro, fuck it, why does he synchro? Oh, he's a C summoning. Uh, uh, oh. Let me update the title as well. Alright. But anyways, this face, this one that Orion's making right now, my favorite face. Wait, I'm gonna check his face real quick. I wanna yeah, see his look face. look at him face. I'm gonna look at him face. Hold up, I'm gonna find him face. Where is him face? Somewhere. Hold up, I'm looking right now, bro. I'm looking right now. Oh, select the cards to add from your deck to your hand. Give me back my Chevalier. Fuck you. <laughs> I want my card back. I will never not want my card back. But yeah, no, I love this face. It's so funny. I'm like loading up right now. I'm I'm rolling in. Whenever I eventually work on doing more faces oh, for is Tulpa, I'm gonna give him a face like this. Yes, you absolutely should. As you should. Very good face right there. Very good face. Uh, whenever Very whenever Nova gets back to working on my um on my chibi model, I'm gonna ask her if she can give me a face like this because I want this so bad. Wait. Okay. Hold up. Hold up, let me let me put in my let me put in a victory look. Bro, I'm about to beat him. I'm about to beat him. There's Get nothing his he ass. can do. Get his ass. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about you, you boys. Get out of my face. None of you matter to me. So fun fact, because I have played this before, it already has some of the answers selected and highlighted in green. Oh my god! Such as, I see a strange looking kid, which I believe is for getting you on the path of good routes. Granted, I've done both I I've done all of Iki's routes, so I, I just think I say this to be nice to him, because I like Orion. I also like Orion. I don't like being mean to him. I will never like... be mean to this kid. Look at him. He's too good. He doesn't deserve- he, If you're mean to Orion, honestly, fuck you. You're the scum of the earth. Exactly. Yitsu should have gotten spotlight way earlier than he did. He absolutely should have. He should have had more time and everything like that. It feels weird because it's like they want- I feel like with Arc 5, one of my biggest issues is that they don't give you enough time to care about all the characters that show up. Yeah. There's a lot of backstory. Like, I thought about that. I was like, you barely know any backstory. Like, for example, about the Academia kids. About, like, what happened between, like, the alt versions of, like, Kite, of Alexis, of Astro. Like, you barely know anything from the past except- Oh, like, the one thing that happened that involves the story happened to them. Mm. Like, you want to know more? Like, Dennis doesn't really have, like, you don't really know his backstory. But you could assume that it's just, like, academia, you know, equals screwy life and everything like that. In fact, like, I, I'm thinking about it right now. There's a lot of characters' backstories which are just, like, really, really not there. And I know that that's not really, like, the whole thing about Yu-Gi-Oh!, but it's really hard to care about a lot of the characters that they want you to care about like like uh the uh, the bracelet girls or with the you boys it's very hard to care about them because yeah. there's not so much that's sticking out with them and everything and the way that it ends really doesn't help honestly 
but yeah, yeah. Wait, I just realized the title's misleading. Dennis Macfield is my Valentine. What about my Valentine? Shit, you're right. What about my what about Valentine? about my Valentine? This ain't about her. <laughs> Which, JK, you know, we love her to bits. We do. Like, she stay winning. It's it's that one picture of, like, the uh, Dennis in a pool, and then Mai's drowning in the background, and it's like, and someone just messages, Mai, Mai is drowning. This isn't and he's about like, her. I should draw that. I'm gonna draw that. I might draw that later. Yeah. Dennis just like swimming and my just <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, by the way. You're gonna need a hydrate before getting into this duel. You're right. You're right. Oh, I gotta I gotta look good. I look pretty. I look ready. I got my hair up like Serena does, where it's like a nice. you know, high ponytail. But I would never be mean to you, Dennis Matfield, sir. Unless you want me to. Unless you explicitly ask me to, then I'll be mean to you. For you, of course. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> do you mind if I read the lines for this one? Or, like, oh. do you want me to stay quiet? Wait, hang on. Is it Dennis? Yeah, Dennis is- this is Dennis's match. Oh, go ahead, dog. I'm not reading my lines. <laughs> okay. I just want to read this because it's, it's him. It's, yeah, it's, go it's, ahead. It's That's your man's. Oh. <laughs> oh, it smells like the pizza's burning. The pizza? Oh my god, bro, you better go get not. it. I hope she said it's timer. <laughs> you go ahead. Is that what the smell is? Yeah. No, maybe. Okay. Ruri doesn't appear until around episode 75. Exactly. Exactly. So why, why would you care about her? Because the only reason why you end up caring about uh, Lulu or freaking ruri and uh rin is because of um their relationship between like other male characters in the show you don't end up caring about them for them uh with yuzu and serena like you care about them for their characters but for yuzu it leans more on you care about her for for yuya you know what i mean which is like an issue that i had with uh what arc 5 was essentially doing with the with the bracelet girls um i feel like i really would have liked rin and I would have liked uh, Ruri as well. My bad, I'm using her dub name. But I definitely felt like I would have liked Rin a lot had we actually got to see her as a person. Same thing. Same thing with uh, Lulu. Honestly, with a lot of these characters, like they they got done so dirty. Like I think I've said it before. If I could take, I would want to like cherry pick some of these characters from Arc Five and put them in a different Yu-Gi-Oh. Or, like, I would cut out a lot of the filler. There's so much. If I could rewrite Arc 5, like, I'm actually thinking about it. Like, what happens if I rewrote Arc 5? So, for one thing, Dennis would be the main character. And then Shay or Shun would be his rival. And then Declan would be, like, the second rival. But I, I give I give all of them more screen time. I would give I would give Ruri her, like, her own character, her personality and everything like that. I'd actually make her a part of the show. Girls will stay winning and everything like that. Uh, Yuzu will be there. She'll have her, she'll have her rivalry with Julia and everything like that. Like, I keep thinking about that. I'm just like, I want to write this. I'm a fan fiction writer. I should rewrite the story. But like, oh. I try not to surrender turn one. I will try not to. If I don't, if like, if I stay in the game and don't surrender turn one, then like, I have more time with Dennis. Why would I want to surrender? Like, like, I'll, I'll wait because I want to have as much time with him as possible. <laughs> surprised no one's tried an arc B rewrite. I'm honestly really surprised too. Um, there might have been in like a um, fan somewhere in like the fan fiction world. I hadn't seen it yet. I know that there were a bunch of people that. Uh, have rewritten the Subspace Emissary um, storyline in um, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Actually, I think one the biggest, the longest piece of fiction out there is a rewrite of Subspace Emissary. So I figured that somebody would want to do that for Arc 5, but not really. I think the closest I've seen is one where it kind where it does rewrite it and tries to be character compliant and it's dennis centric which is really really good it is so good oh my god and it's like dennis x uh shun oh it's so great it's so good but it's got discontinued and it makes me so sad because it's so good it is such a good fic honestly i'm like so good honestly i feel like arcby was the one with the most potential it, it is. It, it was the one with the most potential. It, it had everything laid out there. I was watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything talk about it. 
And the way that he explained certain things, I was like, they really had the potential to make this like the best Yu-Gi-Oh out there. And they, they felt flat. I felt like they were scared. They were very, very scared to really push things any further, especially towards the second half of the show, which is their biggest issue. They, they, they were already pushing the boundaries with season one. They should have kept doing that. Um, and a lot of other issues too, like for example, Declan should have had way more screen time than he did. Um, especially in like the earlier episodes, it'd be nice to like have seen him more and everything like that. Um, I don't think there are some characters that just keep showing up that shouldn't be there. Uh, I felt like certain duels were just way too long and tedious. Um, a lot of- I had a lot of issues like that with Arthur. So, and it drags the show down by a lot because it's like going through so much sludge to get to like not even dying. Like if you're playing Minecraft and you're like having to dig all the way down, imagine you're playing and then it takes you like five hours just to even like find iron. I mean, that's how it is in Minecraft, but it's like you have like the whole world around you. But just imagine you didn't. Just imagine your whole goal, like... How am I trying to put this? Because the way I'm putting it was I didn't really enjoy Arc 5 too much. I kept having to force myself to watch it. I couldn't really get into Yuya as a character. Um, Yuzu and Gong were fine for me, but like, I just... I wish they had more, especially towards the second half. But I felt like they should have done more with Yuya. I felt like Dennis was the de facto... He was the character that actually was entertaining. Which was a, another thing, reason why if I were to rewrite it, Dennis would be the main character, is because Dennis is already a very entertaining character. And he has a lot of complexity behind him and the things that, like, he does, you know? And I feel like Yuya doesn't really have that. It feels like they want him to sound complex, but he isn't... Really? Like... They kind of throw a bunch of stuff at a wall for him, and they're just like, yep, yeah, pull that sticks. Uh, but it doesn't really feel complex. It doesn't intertwine with each other, which is the issue. I feel like a lot of who Dennis is, is intertwined with him. With Yuya, it's kind of like, I want to be entertaining because of my dad and blah, blah, blah. But it's like, how does that relate to your trauma of your dad leaving you and everything like that? How do you feel about him coming back? It does. It all just feels very anticlimactic. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gassing up Dennis too much and putting down Yuya. If you're a fan of Yuya, I'm really, really sorry. I just... He was probably, by the end of the show, my least favorite character. I- and I- he is definitely my least favorite protagonist. And I tend to be very easily swayed with protagonists. Like, even with Yuma, like, I was very willing to give him chances and everything like that. And I felt like it was well worth it, because Yuma, at the end, had such amazing character development. I love Yuma. Yuma is just a baby. And he's so good. He honestly is so good. I was hoping that Yuya would capture sort of that character development that Yuma had. Because Yuma had amazing character development. But he didn't. Uh, anyway, let me go ahead and read you guys the comments. I'm sorry. I'm like starting to get into this point of like, you want to read my, you want to see my R5 rant notes? Because I have rant notes. <laughs> Oh my god, Topa, I am so sorry. I, like, were you here the whole time? I've yeah. just been talking shit. That's okay. I've just been <laughs> listening to Orion talk. Heck yeah. Orion! He's he baby. baby. Honestly, the only things I liked about Arc 5 were the throwbacks to the previous Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Oh, yeah, same. Dude, I remember when I first saw uh, Shun use uh, Rank Up Magic, I was like, Oh my god, Rank Up Magic? Sexel? 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 And then the, the Heartland City, I was just like, Zexel, Zexel! <laughs> oh my god, I love Zexel with every fiber of my being. But yeah, the throwbacks and everything were so, so cool. But at the same time, I felt like there was a lot that was left to be desired. I wish Alexis was allowed to do more, honestly. She deserved so much more. She came off as so cool. And then she fell off in Arc 5. It's like, why? Why would you do that? Same thing with uh, Aster Phoenix. I felt like they could have done way more with him. But he, his, his heel turn felt so rushed. Um, but yeah, the callbacks, the throwbacks and everything, super nice, super cool, honestly. Don't get me wrong, De Declan and Dennis were great, but the other main characters weren't as, uh, likable. Yeah, a lot of them were, uh, if you're referring to Arc 5, I felt like a lot of them weren't really too, too enjoyable for me, honestly. I love, I love both Dennis and Declan for who they are. Um, partially because they're both my type of characters, but also because I felt like both of them were very interesting compared to the other characters that showed up. 
Um, but like, for like, I know that not every Yu-Gi-Oh has to have like a whole cast of interesting characters. I know with a uh, Zexel, um, I'm not super big on like the numbers club, but I think it's good that Yuma has like this group of friends that aren't like super amazing duelists that he could also rely on. You know, while I didn't care about them too much, I felt like it's very good that he had this group of friends that wasn't super intrinsically aligned in the story with like the enemies and stuff. But like. If I can name off characters that I really loved in Zexel, uh, Astral, uh, Trey, uh, Kite, um, I felt like these three, and since they showed up so much to it, they were so integral to the story, it kept me to, it let me keep watching and enjoying it, but like, Arc 5 didn't really do that, I kept having to force myself to sit there and wait until Declan shows up and makes things, like, interesting, and then later when Dennis shows up, you know, I, I, you know, wait for him and make things, like, stayed with them, had things, you know, become interesting for me, you know, I enjoyed it. But they just kept hopping on and off because there were so many characters. It went to a point where I thought to myself, there was a part in the show where I felt like it kept jumping back and forth between groups of characters. And I was like, that's how you know it's too long. That's how you know there's too many characters in the show because you keep jumping back and forth between all these sort of characters and all this shit that's going on. It's starting to get to a point where it's like, it needs to connect more. There needs to be less. There's too much filler. You know what I'm saying? The friendship cup was too long. It really, it really was too long. I think Declan was a great rival, but Gong was a weak best friend. Yeah, honestly, I felt like Gong could have been way better. Um, just, just way, way better overall. Yeah. And Declan, Declan's amazing. It's just that he didn't get enough time to shine. I'm sorry, Tobu. We're talking. We're just talking about Arc Five here. I'm talking about my chat about Arc Five. I'm, no, it's fine. Uh, you want me? To, you want me to like mute that way? You could talk to no, you. No, I wanted. As well. Actually, I maybe so... we like because I do want to read this because I understand the reading is difficult. But um, also, uh, I just wanted to say we just got a good bit of foreshadowing. Oh shit! Hell yeah! Or Orion has said some horrible jer jerk might introduce himself as your boyfriend and take you away from your actual one. Ooh. That's some good foreshadowing right there. Wait, I, I turned on push to talk, and for some reason the button didn't work, so now I'm up, but uh, ooh, the foreshadowing. Ooh, the foreshadowing. Ooh, so <laughs> oh, fuck, I should have warned you. Okay, so, um, I should have warned you about a part in Kent's route. I right. just remembered it. Elio had to warn me about it. Um, trigger warning, uh, there is animal death uh, that is mentioned later in the in the game. I'm, so, if I've already done the good end, I might go for the bad end. Do you remember if there's any warnings for that one? Um, well, no, I haven't done Kent's bad route. I've only mm. done his good route, but there's there's a reason why that is, but I won't say it, you know. Mm -hmm. But it happened. It, it talks about later in the story, so I should have I should have given you that warning beforehand. I just remembered it right now. I feel like I, I vaguely remember, but not well enough. I it's think been a long time it, since I played this. He doesn't mention it until, like, way late into the game, though. So I think, like, from, like, day 20 onwards, um, I think that's around the area where he'll talk about it. But the first 19 days, I don't think he'll talk about it. Alright. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Let me go ahead and... Oh! My phone alarm. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'll do push to talk. That way you could go through your thing and I'll go through my okay, thing. Okay, and I'll yeah. mute as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, gamers. You might be told you ha you don't have a job and then get fired later on. <laughs> or someone with no relation to you tricks you into joining a pyramid scheme. Here, hang on, let me turn down the voices. Can I not do my menu? Not auto. He said, or maybe you'd wind up in a situation where you found yourself being shipped off over, shipped off overseas, right? It'd be terrible if that happened, right? How do I? Aha! Sound settings. We'll turn those down. He 
might be overthinking it. You think so? Let's think the opposite. You get lucky and meet a nice person and you tell him or her your situation. In that case, what would happen to you then? If you said you had amnesia, wouldn't they force you into a hospital? You'd probably be confined to your hospital room until your memories returned. Even if you were allowed outside sometimes for the most part, you'd still you'd be shut up inside, right? For other people, that might be okay, but for you it isn't. Your memories haven't disappeared because of any mental or physical problems. They're being pushed out by my existence. So staying home or at the hospital wouldn't help. In fact, without sim stimulation, you'd just get worse. Sitting around, spacing out in the hospital room without any memories would worsen your mind. You might forget how to drink water, or even how to breathe. Advice to avoid such a terrifying ending? Number one. Gather information. Try to actively meet people and investigate what kind of person you used to be. Who you, your, fr your family, your and your relationships were, and what you were doing. Increase your knowledge and fill up the, that outer part of your memories. Once you do, I'm sure it'll trigger something, and the rest of your memories should return. As that happens, I'll be pushed out and eventually be able to separate from you. It's a long shot, given our situation, but at the moment, it's the best plan we have. Sorry, I keep talking about nothing but negative things. But first, I think it would be good to confide in your family. They won't believe that a spirit got stuck in your head, but they'll at least provide you some information. We can think more about the plan after that. Now, let's go back to your world. The method is simple. Just close your eyes and think. With no memories to influence you, whatever world you can recall is, that wor is the world that you desire. Only, I think there are several worlds like that. Choose the world that feel that you feel is right. I can fucking read. Oh shit, have I not done his yet? Alright, Clover, let's go. I'm not gonna use a guide. I'm not. We're gonna go in blind. Maybe my friends are playing this. Ah, Tulpa, are you awake? How do you feel? Does it hurt anywhere? Can you see me? Orion. Oh good, you still remember what we talked about between the worlds. And you look like you're fine. I'm relieved, for now at least. Alright, enough fooling around. I'll just tell you again. My name is Orion. You remember, right? I'm going to be your spirit partner from now on, so let's get along. Or let's get going. Blowly. Now then, we were going to talk to your family first, right? Hearing information from your family would fill in the blanks in your memories. But the only problem is... It looks like you live here in this place all by yourself. You see, while you were sleeping, I took a look around. It looks to me like your place is a studio apartment. Nice lighting, large storage space, separate bathroom and or laundry, and the building's not too old. There's an intercom with a monitor, and from this button here, I'd say your apartment unit has its own auto lock and code. Looks like the security's pretty good. Just judging from your appearance, you seem to be of either high school or college age. The problem is that you have no relatives nearby to talk to. I don't know if you're just living alone for now, or if you're all alone in this world. Hey, how does it feel when you look around your room? Can you remember anything? Nothing looks familiar. Oh, wait. Is there a possibility that this isn't your room? Ugh, if we start going in that direction, we'll be going for a while. It'd be strange, though, to wear pajamas and be sleeping in someone's room. For now, why don't you look around the room? Like in your drawers and stuff. 
I can't touch the human world, so I haven't been able to check in there. What I was able to figure out by looking around was that you live alone and that it's sometime in August. See? Your calendar's in August right now. For August, the weather is actually pretty nice. Anyway, see if you can search your room for any clues. Inside the drawers. Pins, stationery, envelopes. <sighs> Nothing here to tell us what kind of person you were. Mm, just random stuff here. Nothing much to see. Hmm? What's this in the back? This is just a girly comic book. You don't have to hide this. Mm, nothing that looks like an album. If there were pictures, they could trigger some strong memories. Mm, the rest just looks like a lot of difficult books. Basic psychology, current clinical psychology. Huh, were you studying psychology for school? It's the bed you were just sleeping in. Even though you were just sleeping, it's so neat. Now that I think of it, you instinct instinctively made your bed as soon as you woke up, huh? You were sleeping with the air conditioner on. That's why it feels so nice in here. Makes sense. Were you working on an essay for school? Oh, a notebook! Let's check it out later. Mm, it's just full of empty stack snack boxes. You know, no offense, but these hats look kind of out of season. It's August, so I think you should have more summer hats out. Is it just me? Hey! There's your school ID! Alright, this should tell us a lot of information. It looks like your name was exactly as you remembered it after all. Also, you're a college student. First year psychology major. Your school's address is here too. Looks like you'll be able to keep going for school for now. Hmm? Wait, it's August right now. Isn't it summer break then? Huh? Even though I'm a spirit, I seem to know a lot about when schools are on break. <laughs> I'm pretty knowledgeable about human life, aren't I? Wait, that means... We're so lucky! You're free during this month! You might get your memories back before you're exposed to other people's cruelty and greed. Meeting more people might help you remember, but it'd also be easier to get tricked, so... It's really lucky that you can move around during summer break like this. Let's shoot for the end of the month. I'll do my best to help. Let's go for it. Alright then, let's see. Oh, I spy a cell phone! This is it, the ultimate source of info. Let's check out what's in it. You might remember something from your phone history. I hope there are clear names in there like mom or dad or my friend. Oh, new info already! Looks like today's August 1st, see? It's displayed on the screen. Alright, we have an entire month of summer break. August 1st. Alright, let's take a look through your address book. Maybe we can find some phone numbers of your- Maybe we can find some phone numbers of your family members. If we really needed to, you could even call everyone or just to say hello or something. They probably offer at least a little information. A cell phone really is a treasure trove of information. Wait, what? Your address book has 1,250 entries! It's in the four digit range? You must have a lot of friends! Oh. There are a lot of numbers for things like the dentist and school. I see, I see. 
Still, there's no reason to have this many entries. You kept track of way too many numbers. Hmm. If you called every entry in this address book, you'd probably find hidden information somewhere, but... Well, we don't know anything about them, so we don't have time for speculation. Next, your message history. Wait, huh? Five messages received? Total? You have 1,250 contacts recorded in here, yet you only have five received messages? Maybe you were actually a pretty lonely girl. Uh, sorry, I won't ask you about that. Anyway, I wonder if the five messages are from your friends? Oh, they're all from the same person. And, wait, what's this? The oldest one is from three days ago. I got it now. I'm sure you just bought a new cell phone a little while ago. Just look closely. This phone is still shiny and pretty much brand new. It looks like you just got it. You just bought this three days ago, so you've only received five messages so far. That makes sense. Ooh, I should take a sip. My throat's drying out. Thank you, Blinded. That's very sweet. Next, we should check the contents of these five messages. First, let's check the message you received right after you got your new phone. Inbox. Can't. No subject. Good night. And... Wow. It's really simple. Uh, maybe you're just really close to this person? Whatever. Let's go on to the next message. Now, what could the second message contain? Good morning. From Kent. Yeah, this one's simple too. Good night, good morning, good night. Oh, come on! You're just getting the same messages from the same person at around the same time every day! <sighs> we don't have too much to go off from these. What's this person trying to accomplish? Might not be good at writing messages. Well, I suppose that's the most positive way of looking at it. But seriously, it sure seems like he's sending messages like it's some sort of obligation. There doesn't seem to be any effort at all in these. Short messages, a greeting every morning and night, a man's name. I can only guess one thing about your relationship with him. It's almost guaranteed that this guy is your boyfriend. If he wasn't, you would have gotten annoyed with these constant messages and probably blocked contact from him. Oh, speaking of which, let me guess. This one will be ju this one will just be good morning. Kent, I'm a maid on a Hitsuji. Let's talk. I'll wait until you show up. This mood I'm sensing seems almost like a breakup was in the works. Maybe you just got tired of such a bad texting boyfriend? Sheesh, talk about starting on a hard note. Wait a minute. Why are you trying to reply? You need to think it over. If my reasoning is correct, it wouldn't matter if you replied. But what if I'm wrong? What if this guy is just some sort of stalker? Just look at your sent messages. You never replied to him once. If you're going to reply to some guy you don't know, you'd better you'd be better off meeting him first and seeing his reaction. You should try to meet him. If he looks dangerous, you can forget about it and go home. But if he is your boyfriend, maybe the two of you are fighting over something silly. For instance, if you're fighting over these mini messages, that wouldn't really be a big problem. And if he really is your boyfriend, it's highly possible that he would be a good person to talk to about your amnesia. If we think about it that way, having a boyfriend type of guy appear this quickly is pretty lucky for us, isn't it? Yeah, we can do this. You'll be okay. Alright, 
Then let's go to this Maido no Hisiji place. Wait, where is it? But if he's asking you to come talk to him there, it must be a place that's good for conversation. Oh right, this world had a super convenient system called the internet. We don't know what Maido no Hitsuji is, but it has a unique name. It might be easy to find if we look it up. Let's see, Maido no Hitsuji. Ah, there's only one hit for a place with such a weird name. A cafe? Hmm, what's this? Your very own maids and butlers are graciously awaiting your return. Uh, I guess this is some sort of combination between a maid cafe and a butler cafe? What kind of guy is Ken asking you to talk about something important in a place like that? Anyway, it looks like you were right- it looks like we're right to assume it's some sort of cafe. And it looks like the right place. Alright, we'll talk to Ken- we'll talk about Ken's questionable taste later. For now, let's just look up the directions. Huh, I wonder how far we are? We don't even know the address of the place we're at now. Maybe if we go outside we can find the address written on the outside of the building or something? After we note down the address so we can get back to the right place, we can head over. One hour later. An hour? What's with this? Isn't it a little cold? I think this is a temperature more appropriate for autumn. Are we mistaken in thinking it's August? Like, maybe when you bought your new cell phone you didn't notice the date was off? I mean, I know the calendar was on August too, but I don't think the temperature of this world is typically this low in August. Such an abnormal weather- such abnormal weather could cause humans like you to catch a cold. And since we're merged together, I'd suffer too. Whatever, it isn't time to be thinking about abnormal weather and the crises affecting humanity. The issue at hand is Meido no, ha Meido no Hitsuji and also Kent. Let's see. According to the map, the cafe should be near the big train station. It sure would be nice if some of your memories came back while we looked around the area. Oh, I can see a big building. It must be that way. Do you recognize it? Or maybe not? Okay, we're getting pretty close to the station. It's getting more and more lively around here. It should be close now according to the map. We're in a shopping district now. Oh, there it is! Meido no Hitsuji! Including everything like getting dressed and finding the place, it took us an hour and a half to get here. We've made good progress up to this point, but the real problems start now. You need to talk to a man you don't know who's either your boyfriend or a stalker and not expose your amnesia. Not only that, but the topic could be about breaking up. This is going to be super tough, I think. Are you prepared? Deep breath. Then let's go. Huh, this cafe looks very antique With a really soothing atmosphere. This might actually be appropriate for a serious talk like a breakup. But which person here is Kent? Tulpa. Oh, could this be him? Wait, why is he leaving? There you are. It's been a while, this asshole. Ah, this must be him. Wait, he left too! Uh, maybe those two were just acquaintances of yours? Maybe they saw your boyfriend waiting here so they knew you were coming and wanted to say hello? Wait, but those two were both waiters. Why do they know your name? 
I wonder if you were a regular customer here? Setting that aside for now, I wonder where Kent is. Wait, why are you looking around? No, no, stop! If people find out you don't even recognize your boyfriend's face, they get super suspicious. Even the waiters seem to know you by name here. You need to act more carefully. Okay, just sit down wherever you want for now. He's the one who wants to talk. If he wants to talk, he needs to come to you. Just So just have a seat. Wow, this guy's big. What are you doing? Are you hinting that you don't want to sit with me? Then why did you come here? Just so you know, it's hopefully I can't read your mind. I won't know anything if you would, if you don't tell me. I understand that you want to complain about my attitude. However, you need to make your demands more clear. Ah, this guy must be Kent. I'm doing my best to improve on my actions after having conducted preliminary research on relationships. If my findings are insufficient, I d I'll do my best to improve, but I can't do that if you don't tell me what you're discontent about. Okay, there is no mistaking that this man is your boyfriend. But there's also no mistaking that you two were fighting. I can't read your mind, I can't know what you're thinking if you don't tell me about that. It's a personal attack right there, Kent. I felt that. Are you listening to me? Could you at least say something? Uh, I don't really get what's going on, but we still need to answer him. Oh, wait just a second. He seems older than you. How did you use to talk to him? Mm. Were you the type who would speak casually with a boyfriend who's older than you? Of course you wouldn't know. What will you do? Was that wrong? Excuse me, could you bring my coffee to this table? And a cafe I'll late for her. I don't know how to say that. Very well. And? Uh, I guess we were right. Since he's not reacting, I guess our being more polite was spot on. He's big. He's scary. What do you have to say? If you have something to complain about, you should just blurt it all out like you normally do. And once you do so, I will refute your points as usual, but if you stay quiet, I won't know why you're discontent. Uh, or are you afraid of losing in an argument, and that's why you're saying nothing? <laughs> A laudable decision. If you understand how this all goes, why don't you also learn how to swallow your pride and apologize while you're at it? That would solve everything. It's not like I'm a. It's not like I'm particularly angry. This isn't even on a level worthy of getting angry. And I still don't understand why our conversations always need to turn into arguments. He says he doesn't know, yet he's talking like he's looking for one. Those nothing messages are annoying. His high horse attitude is irritating, and his lack of empathy and his size are scary. I can't even imagine how unhappy you were before losing your memories. But if he doesn't understand that he's coming off this way, one possible option is to apologize and try to end this fighting. What could you be discontent about? Is there some reason you can't talk about it? Then why did you come here? You were quite angry yesterday. Could you stop being quiet like this? If you have a complaint, tell me. I'm sorry about yesterday or I don't like that attitude. He wants an apology, but he also wants us to speak our mind. I uh, will say I don't like that attitude. I see. And an answer I'd expect from you. It is very much like you. Although I'm not surprised at your response, the cause of your displeasure is still ambiguous to me. 
Why you seem upset and why you mean by bad attitude are things that I'd like to know. Our arguments are always disconnected at the most basic level. It's almost intriguing. Uh, it looks like you managed to recreate the same attitude as before, but he seems really mad still. You aren't going to talk back? What's wrong with you today? You're behaving very strangely. I feel as though I'm in the wrong. The fact he's used to you saying you don't like this attitude just makes him seem worse, Lamel. I think he's autistic, honestly. Which, you know, nothing wrong with that, but also it's hard to... You know, with with uh, being autistic, it's hard to know how to handle social situations or conduct yourself appropriately according to a social situation. So he really probably just genuinely doesn't understand. Let's stop this. I didn't come here with the desire to fight. I simply wish to know what you think is the problem. And he's also being very logical about this, trying to figure out what's wrong by getting her to tell him directly. If you can't tell me now, you can tell me about it later. I don't mind if you text it to me either. If there's nothing for us to discuss at present, we should leave. I've been sitting here for a long time, after all. You really are acting strangely today. Excuse me, could you add this table's build to my own? I understand. Please wait just a minute. <sighs> Looks like we somehow managed to get through it. Although, we didn't do much. He stayed quiet for the most part and he explained everything himself. Seeing how he doesn't know the reason you were mad at him, it must not have been a serious problem. If it was about cheating or debt or violence or another big problem like that, he would have mentioned it. Why are you spacing out like that? Let's pay the bill and leave. I'll cover today's expenses. Wait, you weren't very good at calculations. I think it would be helpful if you improved that skill for daily use. Yeah, that makes sense. He also reminds me of someone, appearance-wise, not personality-wise, but I can't quite put my finger on it. I don't know, man. If you can ca quickly calculate the total bill in your head, I'll pay for it all. If not, we'll split it half and half. Wait, what's this all of a sudden? She's got her hands full enough with amnesia, you brute! The blend I ordered was six, 670 yen. The cafe ally you had was 780 yen. What's the total? The total... That is... 13... Plus 80, 70 is 50. So 1,500 1, and. Wait. Ugh, I need a calculator. I feel like I'm getting. I feel like I'm in the right ballpark, but I don't quite have it completely. 670 plus 780. 1,450. There it is. Correct. I suppose this was too easy. I'm sorry. I simply wish to test you as my student. Wait, his student? As promised, I'll pay the bill in full. Now then, let's go. Wait, what did he mean by student? Could this be forbidden love between teacher and student? Or maybe you're just a teacher and student without any love involved? No, he was talking about dating and relationships earlier. There's no mistaking that he's your boyfriend, right? And he left while we were thinking. Let's chase after him. Alright, I think I'm getting pretty tired, so I'm gonna save it there. And I'm gonna. Yume. Tolpster? Hey. Tolpster, hi, what's up?
I'm getting sleepy. Oh yeah, you're gonna go to sleep then? Probably, yeah. Oh, got you, got you. How's it going right. on your end though? I wanted to I check lost to Dennis. Ah, rip. Yeah, no, but I, I, I didn't even realize I lost to Dennis because I was thinking so much about Dennis <laughs> and just being like, Dennis, darling baby, my beloved angel, sir, like, please. And then he hit me and then I, I said I lost and I was like, wait, I lost? What? Mm. Wait, I, I, he knocked me down? I didn't even realize it. I was so distracted by him. <laughs> Fair. He's so, I love him so much, but I'm sorry. You're, you're getting tired, right? You're, you're going to go to sleep? Uh, I mean, I've got to do dishes and eat dinner, but I'll probably go to sleep soon. Yeah, okay, I got you. I got you. I understand. Bro, all right. Thank you for being here on the stream. I'm so of sorry course, that the second half is kind of... Me. No, it, it happens. Bro, are you excited for Yu-Gi-Oh! tomorrow? Then? I am. Are we excited Wait, Yu-Gi-Oh! tomorrow. Oh, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! tomorrow. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Uh, it's Topa Tuesdays. Topa Tuesdays. I forget. Hey, it's okay. You know what? I, I forget a lot of things, too. You're all good. But, dude... Especially since you're tired, go to sleep. Yeah, I will. You deserve it. <laughs> you deserve I'm it. I'm either going to go to sleep or I'm going to end up playing Final Fantasy because my cousin's going to be too loud watching anime. But we'll see which one it is. Got you. Anyways, but yeah. thank you for having me for this Valentine's Day stream. It was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Thank you so much for being a part of this, Tulpa. Of course. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe on Tulpa's videos. Make sure you go ahead and you follow him and you sub to him and you do lots of nice things for him. He deserves it. He's such a homie. Same goes for Yume. Ditto on Yume. Hey, Tulpa. Of course. We're, we're linked. We're interlinked, guys. I, I'm his I'm his spirit partner. He, Hell yeah. He is, he is my seto to, <laughs> to my Yugi. Yes, yes, You know what yes. I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, good night, Tulpa. Good night, Yumi. Go sleepy. And good night, everybody in chat. Uh, I hope you all had fun, and, you know, thank you for joining us. Um, we'll be doing Yu-Gi-Oh! tomorrow at about the same time. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah. All right. See you, Tulpa. See you. Good night. Good night.